and I'm 30 years old. My name is Juliana Wegesa. This is my sign name. This is how the deaf people call me. I work at Nairobi Technical Training Institute as a cleaner. I also work at KBC as a presenter for the Able Different program. I am 24 years old. Thank you. Okay, so are you born deaf and dumb? And how many siblings do you have? And in terms of family, how, how many are deaf or how many are deaf? How many are deaf and dumb and how many are maybe? I wasn't born deaf. I was born a hearing child, then I became too sick. When I was about five years, I was sick for about two years. And my life changed and I became deaf. We are four in our family. There is no other deaf except me. I am the only deaf person in our family. I come from a family of eight, four boys and four girls. All of them are hearing, only one deaf. The time I was born, I was born hearing, but as I grew, at the age of five, I became sick. I became sick for two years, uh, which later changed me and, and I became deaf. I thank God for giving me, I thank God for making me deaf and living well. Okay, how do the parents treat them? How do the parents and other siblings treat them? When I became deaf, my father was very worried. How can my daughter become deaf? So my parents are very good to me and they have no problem. They love me very much. They love me so much. The only challenge that we have is communication. But when my parents communicate, sometimes I don't understand. Maybe sometimes they think I ignore them. But honestly, I don't hear a thing. Sometimes I try to communicate with other people. For example, maybe when we're going somewhere and people don't hear what I'm saying, so it's, it's, really a, it's really a challenge. But I thank God, because God made me a very beautiful deaf girl. And I'm proud to be deaf. I'm very proud to be deaf. God created me the way I am, and I feel very good about myself. It is true I have challenges, but I accept them as they come. And I want to thank God because I have an interpreter who helps me to interpret things. And I thank God for this. And their siblings? My brother and my sisters love me very much. And they care for me very well. We sit together, 
we communicate together i don't know how to talk like they do by they teach me how to replead how to replead sometimes they tell me this is a cup this is what you call a cup this is how you you know they teach me how to read their lips and they teach me everything i'm very happy about it have, have the parents uh, done sign language no no the parents don't know sign language we i try to replead them and i try to to voice i understand a few words if i replead but we have our own home signs that we use at home so there is a language that we use with my parents those are home signs and we understand one another well well for me in our family my father and mother stay together they don't stay together they separated i stayed with my father me and my father we have a lot of challenges challenges in life why do i say so communication problem my father does not understand sign language I always use lip reading which I understand a little I know uh, I know to see a little I miss a lot of words though at the same time if I want to know more I must have an, an interpreter with me My mother stays far and they don't communicate with my father. Sign language communication, I use sign language communication only. Yes, I do have challenges, but they love me. Both of them love me. They love me so much. my sisters and my brothers we don't have problems we love each other and communicate very well why am i saying so they know english language which i use through writing some know sign language a little bit especially my brother who follows me no sign language we communicate through signs so how did they to meet We met when I was in class 8 when I was in primary school. Where do you think we met? In Kakamega. We had a Bible seminar there, a Bible conference. So I was just sit- singing the nice sat there and he was seated right behind me. He called me and said hi. And I said hello. When the seminar was over, we just met and spoke briefly. But I was not interested in that conversation. So when I left, I went to Reverend Mohoro School for the Deaf Secondary School. And he went to Kuja Secondary School, and I just forgot about him. 
I was in form 1, form 2, then when I went to form 3, he SMSed me. And I saw the SMS on my phone and I asked, who is this? He said, my name is Edward. I said, I don't know you. And who is this Edward? He started reminding me, you remember that time we met? We were in a conference and we were learning Bible and I was seated behind you. Oh, I just remembered. Now we started communicating. But honestly, I was not interested in that conversation at all. So I finished Form 4. He continued writing to me SMS. When I finished Form 4, I went to college, computer. He continued greeting me over the phone. He would say hi, I would say hello. But honestly, I still was not interested. When I finished college, I went to the village. Then I met another friend of mine. He gave me his number. He said hello, and I said hello. He said, do you remember me? He said, oh yes, I remember you. Oh, so he had saved my number. He started communicating. I was still not very interested. We had just normal conversation and we would just talk. And we became big friends. And he told me to go and visit Kisi. And we met in Kisi. We talked. And later I became to love him so, 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 so much. And later he told me that we plan a wedding. Then I wondered how and how soon and how fast. He said, you know the both of us love one another. Then I said, why is such an early wedding? Honestly, I feel I'm not ready. You better wait. We we'll see what happens. And then I saw he was very, very serious. I became very surprised. Then later I accepted. I think that was God's plan. And this is God's time. Uh, how did we meet? The first time I met Juliana was in school. That was way back in primary school, in class 8. And I was in, from two, I was in secondary school back then in Koja, School for the Deaf. That time we used to meet, and we'll meet like normal friends, and interact through fellowship, communicate, just like normal friends do. There's no deep tie back then. Later, I continued school up to form four. And she had completed a primary school also. I didn't I did not know where she had gone. I hoped and continued with life. The time I finished form four, I was able to get our phone number from my friend. My friend gave me the number and I started communicating with her again. We communicated all, all through and she joined college and she finished. That time she finished for college also. One day she sent an SMS to me and I was surprised. And I remembered before when we were young, you did not know, but now you remember me, and you continued communicating. I think we were we are adults enough to plan for a wedding, 
and thank, and thank God for helping me get a beautiful girl. I asked her if we can travel together. Go to Kakamega, Kakamega village. We traveled. Remember, we met in Kisi and interacted and asked her if she will accept me to marry her and she said yes, no problem. My family did not have problems with the plants and they agreed for us to have a wedding. And I love God so much. And I want to marry her. I'm hoping so no, let's get over. Our parents can meet and start planning our wedding as we continue. Now I'm ready for both of us to do our wedding.